Well, how y'all doing there, folks? We're back, and uh, yeah, you can see we got some chicken out here. Uh, we're going to be doing a, a double spatch cocked chicken. So, two chickens spatch cocked, and we're going to be putting those on the uh, Rectech pellet grill, and we're going to be using them for uh, doing some pulled chicken today. So, this is going to make a fair amount of pulled chicken. Uh, as you can see, I've got uh, I've got one bird over here. I've got it all ready to go. I've got another one here. Got part of it done here. I figured maybe give you a look. See, I've shown you before how we do this. Let me get myself adjusted here, and um, we'll try this again. Uh, these are bigger chickens this time than I had last time. So the uh, the backbone. Remember, we're cutting out the backbone, and I've got my handy scissors here, and uh, we just want to, like I said, just uh, cut out that backbone. And like I said, these are bigger birds, so. They, uh, they cut a little bit harder than the last time we did it with uh, the smaller smaller birds. But uh, as you can see, we're getting her out of there. You just keep on cutting until you're done. And we got the, it's got some fat on the end there. Cut that off, and then uh, we got a. Take the backbone here, we've got to break this cartilage right here. So you take a good sharp knife and just give it a give it a cut like that. And that opens it up real nice. And we'll wash it off. And then uh, as you can see now it'll lay real nice. And the reason for the spatch cocking of the chicken is that it cooks a lot evener that way. So uh, let me get this cleaned up and then we're gonna show you how we're gonna how we're gonna spice this up. Okay, folks, we're going to season it up. Uh, I did put a little olive oil. As you can see, I got my olive oil here. I put a little olive oil in there. Uh, I've got some Mrs. Dash, uh, salt-free Mrs. Dash. This is really nice stuff. So I want to get it right on the uh, chicken itself, on the meat. So we just took our fingers and we just loosened up in between the meat and the skin in there. And then we're just going to take and uh, lay some Mrs. Dash in there and take your fingers and just get it back up in there and get it all... Nice and rubbed in there. And then on the outside, I'm just going to use a little of this TMB Sweet on there. Good stuff. And there you go. It's real easy to do. And uh, we'll see you at the grill. Hey, folks, welcome back. We're at the grill. And uh, we just put them on. Uh, let's take a quick look. You can see we got our eye grill. We got two probes in there. Uh, we're going to take this up to right around uh, 165, maybe a little less and then tinfoil them and let them cool off. So uh, we got the Rectex set at 250. So let's take a quick look here. Using that uh, upper shelf that I uh, installed uh, makes it real easy to do two whole chickens on the uh, Rectech Mini here. And uh, like I said, uh, everything is uh, on there and uh, I'm not sure how long this is gonna take since I've never done these on the Rectech. So we'll give you a look-see as we keep going. All right, folks, have been on for a little over two hours. Let's take a quick look here. Oh, yeah, looking mighty nice. Uh, temps, internal temps right now are running uh, about 120 on the bottom bird, about 114, 115 on the top bird. So about a five to seven degree difference, which should be expected being one's on the top and one's on the bottom. So uh, we'll keep this going to about 165, and then we'll pull them off, and we'll give you a look. See you then. All right, folks, our number four with our double spatchcock chicken looking mighty nice here. You can see the nice smoke rolling off the Rectech. I'm um, just about ready. I'm getting close to pulling them off. Uh, take a quick look here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh, I did spritz them a little bit along the way with some apple juice just to keep some moisture in there. That may be accounting for some of the browning on the skin itself, but uh, as you can see, looking really nice. Uh, a lot of these ideas I get for doing this stuff, folks, I'll tell you what, I've talked to you about it before, talked to you about it again, uh, come from letstalkbarbecue.com. It's a great online forum. Any type of uh, barbecue or type of cooking that you want to discuss on there, you can go on there, and chances are there's some world-renowned chefs, and uh, guess what, amateurs like me who can give you advice. So... Let's talk barbecue.com and uh, we will show you these when we got them cooled down and ready to pull them. Thanks. Well, hey folks, there's a chicken. You can see I've pulled about one third of one chicken so far. You can see the tray I've got there looking really nice there. 
Here's uh, some sandwiches. Oh, a little barbecue sauce on there. Very nice pulled chicken sandwiches. Turned out great. Uh, folks, if you like what you're watching, uh, to the right in the upper right-hand corner, there is a button called subscribe. Please subscribe if you want. Uh, and as always, folks, thanks for watching.